In this video, I will talk about the Panama Papers, the largest leak that has ever happened in journalistic history. I will tell you how the Panama Papers are an inside job, a psychological operation, a psyop engineered by the very elites in a new digital warfare that it's being waged against you tricking and fooling the average person. Now, of course, this huge leak, according to many mainstream media newspapers, is showing how the elites are hiding money. But in all reality, the very top of the top elites are engineering it, getting rid of their lower competition. As we are speaking around right now, this leak was the largest in journalistic history with 2.6 terabytes. Over 400 journalists worked on this case from 100 media organizations in over 80 countries. The main newspaper, Suda Deutsch Zinting, as we reported to you, is the largest national subscription newspaper in Germany, and it was the first to receive a license from the U.S. military after World War II. Now, who organized all of these 400 journalists in over 80 countries from 100 media organizations? Well, it was the ICIJ, the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. Now, if you look at the very website where the Panama Papers were released, who supports the work of releasing this largest leak on the American public? Well, it was the Open Society Foundations, George Soros. It was USAID or the CIA, in other words. George Soros, when you go on the Open Society Foundation, is the first thing you see when you go on their website, the financiers, the organizers of this massive leak. Who is also responsible? The Ford Foundation, the Carnegie Endowment, the Rockefeller Family Fund, the Kellogg Foundation, the Open Society Foundation, all top globalist, New World Order henchmen, we're talking about the elite of the elite, the Rockefellers, the Carnegies, the Fords, all connected with the U.S. government to do the bidding of the top elite. Not the small elites, not their competition that have been eliminated with this hack, but the top of the top. U.S. aid was created in 1961 to help the United States win the hearts and minds of citizens in poor countries. But in recent transitions, it has been complimenting the CIA on high-tech propaganda and destabilizing programs in other countries like Ukraine and Cuba. USAID has been undermining governments that have been enemies of the State Department for a very long time now. The Ford Foundation and the CIA are directly interconnected. USAID does the bidding of the State Department and the CIA. Now with these leaks, so-called exposing the elites. Who are they really exposing? Are they exposing the Americans who do money launder, who do hide their money? Well, according to the papers, there's about 400 American clients from the organization, from the tax haven group in Panama that has been hacked. But the biggest name in these hacks that is American is Tina Turner. Tina, oh, oh. <laughs> Tina Turner is the biggest American that has been exposed by the Panama Papers. Including all the high profile nature of all the foreign names in these leaks, all the Americans are just small fish. Now of course there is some collateral damage that happened through these Panama leaks. We have David Cameron's father laundering money that has come out. That is some collateral Damage. We have the Saudi prince, also very close to the United States, shown how he laundered money and bought property in the UK. But these are nothing compared to the bigger revelations that happen against the U.S. State Department enemies. And plus, these this is nothing compared to the outright criminal behavior of Saudi Arabia and their human rights violations. This is only just a small, a very small collateral damage to some of the United States enemies. When you look at the bigger picture, you could see how people are just pissed off that this game is rigged, that people are hiding money away from government so they don't finance their illicit, illegal, increpit behavior. As we are speaking right now, the game of laundering your money, of using tax havens in Panama, is over, and what 
are the bankers pushing for? What are all the business people pushing for? They're saying that the U.S. is now the best tax haven in the world with countries like Nevada, Wyoming, and South Dakota using this as a way to get international players to put money and invest money into the United States. This directly benefits the United States with foreign elites happening. There's huge repercussions happening all around this world as we are speaking. Iceland's prime minister, the man who has overseen the jailing of corrupt bankers who were responsible for the financial crisis, is targeted by the elites through the Panama Papers. It was revealed how he was hiding money away from his country. And now we even have reports by Al Jazeera that he is resigning as we are speaking and is being overthrown because of these Panama Papers. The man who went up against the criminal bankers, put them in jail for their financial crimes. He is being punished and he is being thrown in jail. Who else is being targeted? Well, of course, Vladimir Putin and his friends showing how they were cleaning their money, laundering their money, and of course, using offshore money. Who else? All other enemies of the West. Of course, Russia is answering back, saying this is just an extreme biased attack by the mainstream media because Putin has been seen mainly as the target of these Panama Papers by the mainstream media. They have this picture in relation to the Panama Papers everywhere. We also have the Bashar al-Assad, the Syrian president, who also was the main target of this attack. We have China, who is now censoring Panama leaks in their country on the internet. Their leaders have been targeted. We also, all enemies of the U.S. State Department. And again, I pointed this out before. The United States and their intelligence agencies have run anonymous hacking attacks on foreign countries before. The FBI overturned Sabu, the leader of LOSEC. When they overturned the leader of LOSEC, an anonymous branch, they conducted operations orchestrated and run by the FBI with FBI servers on foreign countries. U.S. intelligence agencies previous before ran hacking operations on foreign countries, including Stratford, which makes you just boggle your mind on why the FBI would hack an intelligence agency, a, pr a private one, Stratford in the United States. This also puts to question the legitimacy of Edward Snowden, who has been a huge proponent of the Panama Papers, and WikiLeaks, who has also been a huge proponent of the Panama Papers. Are they just useful tools of this new digital propaganda war, or are they taking part in this knowingly as just a U.S. Western intelligence operation that's happening right in front of us? We are living in a new world, in a new war that's being fought digitally. There is a lot of disinformation. It is a total information war that's being waged on you, and you need to know who's organizing it, who's financing it, whose fingerprints are on it, and most importantly, key bono, who benefits from the largest hack in journalistic history. And all the fingers point, not only to the benefiting, not only to the orchestrating, not only to the financing, organizing, putting this all together by U.S. Western elites, intelligence organizations, and the very top elites who are destroying their competition with this hack. Subscribe. Check out our store on wearechange.org to support this independent news organization. We are run for you and by you. Investing in us, buying our products helps keep this independent organization free for you and by you. Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more information on this and so much more on youtube.com forward slash wearechange.